what's going on guys it's brandon l draper with the start thinking forward morning show hey guys if you haven't heard about a free way to share your story or voice with a community of like-minded people well i got something for you the no excuse way to start your podcast let me explain First and foremost, it is free 99. They got all types of creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. No special equipment needed, right? You can also make money from your podcast. There's not a minimum amount of people need to listen to it. It's everything plus more that you'll need to create your very own podcast in one place. So what are you waiting on? Download your free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. guys welcome to the start thinking forward morning show i am your host for this powerful electrifying show brandon l draper coming to you live in this morning we have an interesting topic we're going to be talking about the scope of your vision and what exactly does that mean is your vision limited why is it limited right oftentimes i get to have some very powerful conversations with people a lot younger than myself and a part of me start seeing this innocence that's in these younger people and sometimes kids like you know you see this vigor for life that they feel like they can accomplish anything and then for the majority of us when we see that or we hear that the first thing we do is we remember a time in ourselves when we used to be that way right And then, you know, me just the other day, I was thinking to myself, I said, man, you know, when did it happen? Right. Everyone has that. When did it happen? Because you remember that time when you was a child and you said that, you know, whether it was something you disagreed with or just something you just didn't believe in or something you did believe in, you said that you would always stand by what you believe in. You always believe that you could accomplish anything. And it seemed like everything was was within reach. And then. This thing happened called life and it kept on happening. And when it just kept on happening and things may not have worked out the way in which you wanted it to, right? You you kind of like become another person, a person that the younger you would never accept. You became a person that you would never even think of. But then you realize with all the responsibilities and things that you got going on now, that you couldn't be that. You can't be that little person. And that little person, that person back then that had all those dreams and ambition would look at you and say, they couldn't be you. So what happened, right? Now, we know that we live in reality. Then we understand that we got responsibilities. But what's wrong with still having the vision, still having the dream, right? Stop limiting our own beliefs. It's like if the world is already set up in a way to not believe that we can accomplish the things that we say that we can accomplish if the world already believes that that's okay but let's not believe that within ourselves let's still believe the best is yet to come let's still believe that we can still be great why are we going to believe what others already think of us when they're not us they don't know your true potential they don't know what you truly feel inside See, the thing about sharing feelings and emotion is that you're expressing how you feel. The reason that the other person is asking you how you feel is because they can't experience how you feel. They want to know how you feel by you explaining it, right? So they don't know how you feel. So when other people pass judgment on you and say what you're capable of doing or what you're not capable of doing, right? How do they know? There's only one person that knows that. And that's you. But you start letting that bull guard your life. That they're making decisions for you and they're not you. They're not living for you. Nothing you're going to do stands to really directly benefit them. Or at least benefit yourself. If you're doing it for other people. But you want it to benefit yourself. You want to be able to benefit yourself and benefit others. But when you're only doing things to benefit others and it's not uplifting you, then there's a big question mark by it. Because that's when the shift happens in our minds. 
What happened to the 15 year old Caroline? What happened to the 15 year old Bruce, the Brandon, the Leons, the dream chasers? Did life just beat you up a little too much? We all have a story. It is not, it's like our stories, even though they might be so different in so many ways, they're not, they're nothing new. And it's not to delineate anyone's pain that they may be enduring right now. But what you're going through right now in this moment, someone has went through that same thing and they were able to overcome. So just having that idea and some people be negative and say, well, just like some people overcame, but some people didn't make it. Well, what's understood, we need not explain. It goes both ways, but we can always dwell on what couldn't be or what can't be, but we never think of the possibility of what could be, what can be. We don't focus on that. I'm challenging you to focus on what can be, what could be if you're willing to put forth the energy and stop limiting yourself. See, a lot of times nothing happens because absolutely nothing happens because we're so scared to move to the next level. Even when we make the level, even if we, if we accept the challenge and we make a couple of steps forward, we're so terrified of what's next, right? We, we took the first step and things just didn't work out. Oh man, they said it wasn't going to work out, but some also said it was going to work out. But why do we always lean on the negative? We feed what we don't want and we starve what we want and what we need, right? Story, right? And I, and I got a lot of these, like, you know, it, it's an old story. It goes goes like this, right? How, and I'm not even going to story, but I, I kind of do. But it's about two wolves, right? Two wolves. And each wolf represents how we feel, right? Either you can feed the faith wolf or the fear wolf, right? Whatever one is fed the most is the one I'm going to bet on to win, right? Any Anybody with this common sense would think whatever one is eating is going to be the one that's going to win, right? If you're feeding more into your fear, then fear is what's going to conquer you, is what's going to encapsulate you in this bubble of fear that makes you immobilized, that you can't move. But if you're feeding faith, even when you don't understand how situations going to play out, you can be one situation from changing your life. You can be one meeting away from changing your life. But if you never have the meeting because you're feared to even start the business, to even try, then you never even get the meeting. You never ever get the opportunity to be in the right place at the right time because you're feeding yourself something. So something we know happened in the midst of our lives where we went from believing that anything is possible to believing that you got to be realistic. Well, what's the definition of realistic? I mean, being realistic is almost like being, you know, what people will see beauty. Well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Well, can that be the same thing about being realistic? Because what could be unrealistic to one may be very realistic to another based upon the situation, Right. If you invested a lot in your business, you invested a lot in yourself, right? It wouldn't be unrealistic to pitch your business to a board that's giving out millions of dollars to invest in your company. But if you've absolutely done nothing but talk about an issue and never even took the first step, don't have a business plan, don't even know where you would begin, don't even know anything about your industry, it'll be unrealistic for you to try to pitch that idea. Because... It'd be easy to go with an excuse and say at the end when you're not, when your stuff doesn't get picked up, well, it's not meant for me. No, it doesn't mean that it's not meant for you. It means that you didn't put any work in. You didn't make any investment in it. You didn't feed it. You didn't feed the faith. You fed, you, you fed the doubt. You fed the fear. Because they're going to tell me no anyway. It's what you say. And those are the things that hold us back. I already knew what they're going to say. So why apply? I already knew what they were going to say. So why even try? I don't know what they're going to say. So I'm going to try. Let them tell me no. Don't tell yourself no. 
I don't care if, if you if you become an NBA or NFL player, and if you play in football, you only make five touchdowns your whole career. You in the NBA and you only score 10 points your whole career. You still achieve something that most people never will. You you still achieve something. You can't delineate your success. You have people to say, this person in the NBA, worst player in the NBA. You, you are the worst of the best. Think about that for a second. What they would consider the worst is still better than majority of people. That's still success. All this stuff is in your mind. What's next? What are you willing to conquer? What are you willing to challenge? Do you have the heart and test the fortitude to go after it? I challenge you to still have that vision. Don't limit it because life is beating you up a little bit. Because you got a couple of black eyes. Because you've been body slammed a couple of times. Oh yeah, it hurts when the wing gets knocked out of you. Right? Yeah, it, it, it's a lot when you got this big thing, this big proposal going on and you're looking for this money because if you close this deal, it's going to revolutionize your life and it doesn't go through. You spent months on this thing. This was this is what you was waiting for. This was the break that you freaking needed, man. This is it. I got it in the bag and it does not fall through. Are you still going to have the vision? Right? Are you going to still have the vision when everything's falling apart around you? You're losing friends, you're losing family, and you're about to lose your house. You're about to lose your cars, right? And then that 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 voice in the back of your mind starts telling you, maybe they were right. Maybe they were right. You should have went back. You should have went back to the workforce. You, you, you should have. Dog, I, oh man, I wish I'd listen. Look at me now, looking stupid. Now I gotta get on the phone and call somebody for help. I need help. I don't want to hear it. Are you willing to go through that? Are you willing to go through that? Right? Because sometimes that's what it requires. I'm not saying in every one situation it's gonna require that level. I don't know because you got your own particular journey. It's your journey. I don't know your particular journey. I just know that there's something special for you because you're listening to this, right? So there's definitely something magical in you. There's something that's life altering about you because I don't think there's nothing ordinary about myself and anyone I come in contact with. We all have a purpose. We got to find that out. Now, that's no fluff. That's not just to get you up out of your seat, shaking and all hell's breaking loose in your life. That's not what that is. That's just the truth. Is that we gotta remember a time when things were a lot simpler, when 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 we really believed in ourselves. And if we still continue to believe in ourselves, opportunities will present themselves. It's not to get fixated in the, the day-to-day mundane trap that we get ourselves into, where we think life is about paying bills and, and being everything to everyone except for ourselves. We're never true to ourselves. That we look into a mirror and see a reflection of something we don't recognize no more because we're more fixated on being who we want others to perceive us as. Their image of us. Think about that for a second, right? You might want to rewind that back and go listen to that again, right? But when you were, when you, when you had that mindset, when your vision was clear, it wasn't limited. Think about it. Right now, think about what does your future look like? Most people don't even think that far. And that's not that's not a joke, but it's just real life. It's not that you're incapable of doing it. It's that you're too busy doing it. You're too busy doing everything else. You don't have time to do it. Think about your future. What does that look like? Where would you want to really see yourself? Right? And that, that, let's, let's break it down like this, right? To, to make it real. Because some people believe that they do it when they don't. So let me make it real for you. So... What does your future look like? Just describe one day. Matter of fact, don't even describe one day. Let's make it even easier than that. Could you describe one hour of what your best life would be? What your vision of what you envision your life being perfect? What would make it perfect for you? What would that look like? What would that look like? If you can describe one hour of it, 
what would that look like? Some people are thinking right now and they may say, I don't even have a clue. I've been bogged down on what's else going on. I, I haven't really thought about what makes me happy. What could I do in the, sh- in the interim to do something that will help me, to, to make me happy that I can do whatever I'm supposed to do much more effectively, efficiently. Think about it. If you know what it is you like and you participate in that, could I not make you a better person? Is that not a part of your vision? And if it's not, why wouldn't it not be? Why would you not want what makes you happy a part of your vision? And then, you know, you don't even include, you limit your vision so much that you only have vision and sight for things that make other people operate and makes other people move. But think about it. By you being your true self, you being center of yourself, you understanding what it is that makes you happy in a process of you discovering that that thing within you, you're able to help other people at an accelerated rate. Because you're not just going with life. You're not just doing as things come. You're not just reacting to things. You're responding to life. You're being a part of life. Because now you're dreaming again. You believe that you are a creator because you are. You create your existence. This is a saying that says, we are all self-made, but only the successful will admit it. No one wants to say, I created hell on earth for myself. No one wants to say that. No one wants to openly admit that. But we do. So if we created the hell for ourselves, why can't we create the opposite of that? Why can't we create the heaven? Why can't we create the better life? Why can't we? We can. We have the power too. We had the power to create where we're at. We may have made some bad decisions and some things along the way that put us in a position that we may not like necessarily, but those are things that we can change. No matter what the world may say, no matter how things may be, and I'm not just saying take some faithful walk of just just believe just for the sake of believing i'm saying believe because you know what you're putting in yourself at this point you can't change what's happened before what you didn't do should have done what they told you to do and you didn't do it you can't go back and change into that but you can change the now how you process things how you look at things and if you start changing the now you can damn sure change the future that's why you can't dwell on the past there's nothing you do about it Except learn from those things and move forward to help you strategically make plans for the future. Then you can become a safe bet and you can start dreaming and having that vision again. And your vision will have to be limited to the extent you're cutting your own self out. That you're moving. Making moves and plays is not based on anything about you. And understanding that once you can master you and get that under control, that you can bless the multitudes of people way more than you can do by just taking care of five or ten. Because you truly understand your placement. That's why you got to keep that vision. That's why you got to make sure that you can describe it. What would it look like if you couldn't describe an hour? Could you describe five minutes of it, what it would look like. What would you be doing? What would you be wearing? What would you look like? Would you be 20, 30 pounds lighter? Would you be 20, 30 pounds bigger? Would you have more muscle? Would you have longer hair? What would you be wearing? What would that best life be? What would it look like if it's just for five minutes? What would it be? And how can you bring yourself to it? How could you bring yourself to it? Live life fully live life fully don't let life be a bully right live life fully don't let life be a bully sometimes we put ourselves in a situation where life is a big bully it pushes us around right life isn't designed that way we're supposed to be one with nature one with life one with everything we are that in which we say we're not and we're not what we say we are right think about that for a second you are nothing, but yet you are everything. You control what, who you are, what you are, and what you will become. Here's an opportunity to transform your mind and ideas and look at things just a little bit differently. First of all, I want to thank you guys for tuning in this morning. Um, I hope this message helped you. 
Um, if it helped you, please share it with someone else that may need this message of hope and inspiration. I just, when I get on the mic, I just don't talk about just the positive aspects. I talk about the real aspects of life because there's, there's always a, a positive and a negative, but we got to make sure that we having a real conversation. Um, and, and the realness for me comes from just living life. And I'm not telling anyone out there, this is the way the light and all that stuff. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just saying it's my perspective during my journey. These are some of the things that I've experienced. And these are some of the things that have held me back. And oftentimes these are things that are still holding me back. So guess what? I'm a human too. And I make mistakes and I feel, I have feelings too, right? I, I get hurt. I get frustrated. I get lazy. There's all types of feelings and emotions that you're going to go through in business. I, you get tired of things. You get tired of people. You're tired of situations. It's a whole multitude of things. But I'm still human too. So I have feelings. I have doubts. I have excitement. I have fear. It's okay to have those feelings and emotions. But what are we going to do with them? How are we going to continue to carry on and fight? Thank you for tuning in to the Start Thinking Forward morning show as we bring a explosive message. Please share this message with someone. Um, if you're looking to share your story, be an inspiration to this world, we would love to publish your book. So please visit us at www.pinnaclepointpublishing.com. And if you are a king or a queen, which I know you are, if you're listening to this, I need you to visit our closing apparel that we have. We just launched a couple of months ago, zenithcores.com. That is Z-E-N-I-T-H-C-O-R-E-S.com. Please visit us and check out some of our apparel. We got some major projects coming in and we want to continue to motivate, uplift, and inspire. And sometimes you just don't know whose life you're going to affect. But I always said, if you can't do anything good for someone, do something good for yourself. Be a change agent in this world to bring about what you feel and what you know it should be. If you want to follow me, please follow me. Instagram at therealmotivationalking.com. And with that, guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. Wake on up and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Hey guys, I want to squeeze in here real quick and I wanted to say, say something to you. First and foremost, it, it's very important for you to share your story. Now, this is not a sales pitch, but this is just straight talk here. Um, sharing your story can be therapeutic, not only just for yourself, but for others as well. There are so many people that have so many things pinned up in them and they don't know how to express that. But check this out. I believe as as the digital age increases in the way information is is bounced from one side to the next let me tell you something i think that you can help so many people leave a piece of you behind by sharing your story and publishing it on many different medians and, and different verticals like for instance you can share your story let's just say you went through something traumatic you may not even want to share who you are but you want to share that experience because someone else may have experienced something like that and you sharing that may help them be able to get out of the rut that they're in, maybe help them get out of uh, being depressed or, or just give them some type of hope and inspiration to carry on. But if you never share that story, that story dies with you. And maybe, you know, it, maybe sharing your name is, is, is important. So we have ways we can do a pen name and you can actually think about it. The pain and struggle that you went through, actually being able to share that with the world, help others, and then also make an income off of that. Hey guys, you want to learn more on exactly how you're going to do that because one of the things that I learned when I got into this sector is you know people have information which information is very readily available but transformation is not transformation is something else that's when you have to get different type of help and assistance to get you to the transformation part so I want you to make a transformation so right now here's my bid hey if you go to patreon.com that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n.com forward slash creators inner circle right that's where i'm going to pour into you week after week on how to do this and you're contributing to a good cost because guess what we're giving back part of our campaign here at pinnacle point publishing camp and also the inner circle is that we want to build facilities for entrepreneurs like yourself 
authors like yourself that want to share this story in a multitude. So check us out on patreon.com forward slash creators inner circle. Hey guys, thank you for listening in. I greatly appreciate it.